Hey, we're at the firehouse, but not the kind that has firefighters in it, right? This has beer and food. We're with Rob, the general manager, Firehouse Brewing Company. I mean, you guys, it's an icon here in downtown Rapid City. It sure is. I mean, 31 years we've been around. We're the oldest brew pub in South Dakota, mm -hmm. and we have the greatest building that there is downtown. We have the original 1915 yeah. firehouse, 107 years old, and it's a hell of a building. So the history of the building is this is the original firehouse of Rapid City. It mm -hmm. was functional for from 1915 on. It, mm -hmm. In the 80s is when it stopped being a, a firehouse. There was actually one incarnation of a restaurant right before us. It didn't last that long and we opened in 1991. Been here ever since. Mm -hmm. 31 years right in downtown Rapid City. Talk about your beers here. So being the oldest brew pub, we certainly have the most history. We try to uh, incorporate a number of different styles appealing to a wide base because we're not just uh, Rapid City's oldest uh, brew pub but because we're South Dakota's oldest brew pub we get visitors from all over the country who are coming here during the summer mm -hmm. uh, if you walk down Main Street on a summer night you're gonna see a line outside of our door so mm -hmm. try to have a lot of different variety of beer that will mm -hmm. encompass lots of different tastes we still have our original brew house, uh, which is right up on the second floor of this building in our mezzanine. Mm -hmm. uh, but just recently, actually only a couple months ago, we started a whole new brewing system in our old uh, winery building. Mm. Which, so the winery has moved just outside of a town because they've expanded greatly over the last few years. Mm -hmm. And so we used it as an opportunity to expand our brewing process. And so what started upstairs 31 years ago has now moved right next door, but all of our brewing happens right here on premises. Talk about your food. Yeah, so we try to be kind of all American and it's kind of the same thing over 31 years. The menu changes mm -hmm. uh, kind of periodically to look at different tastes and the kind of people that are coming through our front door. Mm -hmm. But we try to be all American. We're a family restaurant. So it's burgers, it's barbecue, it's some hearty dishes like, like a stout stew and a gumbo. Things that are really try to meant more to be comfort food than anything else. Sure, I feel like it's the, the spinach dip. Yep. I, that's like, I love that. Yeah, I would say there are, those, there are two of our uh, really noteworthy dishes mm -hmm. would be our artichoke dip, which comes with our own uh, garlic bread. beer bread. Yeah, because oh. we make that with beer that we so brew right good. here, and so it has great flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And then our mushroom fire caps probably are more mm. popular than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a, fire, a mushroom stuffed with crab dip with cheese on top and it's baked in an oven for about 10 minutes, it's absolutely oh. heavenly and to die for. That sounds wonderful. And then you guys have a really cool patio outside that you open up in the summertime and you like have fans here. Yeah, we, we do have a great patio. Uh, in the summer we have, I mean, we can definitely fit about 120 people out there. So it, mm -hmm. it really is a, a great feeling, particularly at nighttime as it starts mm -hmm. to cool down. Uh, tons of people will go out there and just kind of enjoy the nice weather. And, and really, we, we certainly have entertainment as well and that's mm -hmm. a great opportunity to kind of enjoy downtown Rapid City during the summer. Sure and then the fire hatch you give away to the kids that's pretty iconic too. We give away more <laughs> fire hats than I, you could ever count I'll be honest. And you have some really great photos and then equipment that they must have used. Yeah we've, okay. we've kind of accumulated and amassed equipment from all over the country particularly firehouses that have closed mm -hmm. throughout the country so mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever driven on I-90 you've seen our fire trucks and yes. we have tons of them. <laughs> And they're great, uh, they're great testament to the hard work that firefighters do all around the country. And we have patches from literally all over the world. That is not an exaggeration. Uh, every day we get a patch from, from someone who comes into our, our establishment. And I, I can remember just recently getting one from France. So people from all over the world hear about the firehouse, they come, they visit, and we hang their patches up all over the place. Gotcha. And then talk about upstairs. I feel like that's been a thing or two through the years, but now you've revamped it. And now we made it into a sports bar. And so kind of the idea was, let's make something for downtown where people, if they, if they want to watch sports, want to have a relaxed atmosphere, have some drinks, have some kind of barish, sports barish food, mm -hmm. uh, they can come and it's a great setup. I mean, 35 big screen TVs in a very compact area. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. thought it was a great opportunity to have a downtown spot for sports watchers to come and enjoy themselves. So one great thing that we had with adding on a new brewery system, brewery equipment, is we also got a brand new canning line. Mm. So we're kind of known for these large 32 ounce crowlers, but sometimes it's a bit too much beer for people, even for <laughs> me. I don't necessarily want to drink 32 right. ounces in one sitting. Yeah. So we got a brand new canning line, which allows us to can 12 and 16 ounce cans. It also allows us to create some unique beers that you know maybe we can't always keep on tap here. Mm -hmm. And so you'll start seeing them in, in 
distributors and grocery stores and liquor stores all over uh, the Black Hills area and they'll have that uh, iconic uh, Firehouse logo on them. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much today. Thank you.